Okay, we're going to start by showing that we have our ambisonic wave file. I have three takes, one, two, three, which I've labeled, and I have 360 video footage, shot one, shot two, and then shot three is being stitched currently. What we will do is open up Adobe Premiere 2018. So once Premiere is open, we'll start a new project and we will call this VR Cinema and put it on our desktop. Hit OK. We will then uh, reset our windows so that you can see uh, our layout. We're going to double click our... Uh, before we do anything, we're going to go to Premiere Pro Preferences Audio, and we're going to ensure that the Audio tab has our multi-channel media set to adaptive. This is very important if you're using um, ambisonic audio. It's multi-channel and it needs to be set to adaptive. After you've done that, go ahead and double click the bin to open up your um, media uh, ingestion and go to the ambisonic and we're going to import our wave file which is the ambisonic audio you can see if I double click that I have four channels of ambisonic media and you'll notice right here there is a clap uh, that takes place in fact we're going to preview that just by hitting the space bar and you should get to this point and we'll see that a little clap and what we'll do is we'll use our arrow keys to go back to the, the highest point of the clap. I'm looking here in the meter to see where the clap is loudest and then I'm going to hit the letter M to make a marker. M is in marker. I will then double click my bin again to open up the shot to encoded media file that I got from Adobe Media Encoder that's been stitched. I'll double click that and you'll see I can see this footage and I do see somebody's clapping right at the beginning of the footage. You can kind of see if I hit the space bar right there. In fact I'm going to zoom in plus 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 so I can see that. Use my space bar to go back and I'm going to wait till the hands are fully. There it is can see the hands together and I'm going to hit the letter M to make a marker there. So both shots now you can see have a marker which we'll use for aligning things. I will then uh, go to uh, create a new um, sequence. I can do that here or I can go to file new sequence and I'm going to have a preset of 3840 by 1920 and this time I'm going to select ambisonics as my preset and hit OK. I will now have a sequence one right here and you can see now sequence one is opened up here. I'll start by dragging in my video footage and I'm just going to drag in the footage only by grabbing that and putting it in here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to double click my WAV file and I'm just going to drag that into the timeline here. And you'll notice both of these, if you zoom in, plus plus plus, they both, or minus here, they both have a marker. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this marker and this marker so that they line up so I can move this footage and you can see the markers will want to snap and then I will just trim it so that they both start at that point. Select the black here and hit delete and now they should both I'm going to just put the VR on and you can see right here going to go to half so you can kind of see what's going on here and you'll see they both should be in sync and if I move it over just to double check things look like they're in sync now if they're out of sync double check to make sure that you've got everything correct uh, with the clap uh, and the sound next thing we're going to do is I'm going to get out of VR here. Uh, we're going to need to remove this tripod. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to click this little uh, 
export frame button by clicking it once. Now you want to do this for every shot, uh, and you want to do this where there'll be where it's just normal uh, tripod. So anywhere, uh, as long as the tripod didn't move. What we're going to do is we're going to take a photograph of this equal rectangular uh, frame. I'm just go full so you can kind of see. Uh, click that and it's going to save this. I'm, the path is users desk desktop and I'm going to call it uh, floor shot 2 uh, and I'm going to save it as uh, a TIFF file. I'm going to hit OK. Now what I'm going to do is go to Photoshop 2018 and I'm going to open up that TIFF file that happens to be on my desktop. Just go to File, Open and there it is and we've been working with equal rectangular uh, files before so you can kind of see that's pretty familiar uh, and what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get rid of uh, everything but the floor area here so you can uh, do this by just double clicking the background um, and well first thing we're going to do is turn this into a spherical panorama done uh, we're going to zoom down so that we can see the tripod area here, and we've done this before. We're going to select that area uh, using our lasso tool, L for lasso or polygon lasso, which is easier. I'm going to trace around everything that looks like it sh should not be there. We've done this before. Now I've got a nice selection. I'm going to shift delete it and hit return and you'll see that that uh, makes that disappear. Now I'm going to keep the selection because I'm going to copy that selection uh, and go double click the spherical map icon here. Um, and now we see that we have an actual frame that does not have the tripod, right? Uh, but the problem is um, that that tripod is all we want in essence we want to use that to cover up the video but everything else up here we want to make completely transparent so how are we going to do that well what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit we're going to copy this entire perfect finished equal rectangular in the memory go back here to the floor area and then we're going to go back to our history where we first opened uh, the the file so up here is our history and then we can just go back or we can option command Z to go back to the beginning and now I'm going to paste in that fixed layer and you can kind of see before after before after so what I want is I actually want to select this background and I'm going to just by hand just select the areas on this floor because we're going to make a mask in essence or we're going to delete everything so this is our this is all the messed up stuff right this is what we want to replace so now if I go and turn that off and I go here that's what we want so if I made a mask at this point we're like yay that's a mask it's a little hard so one thing I could do is soften that by going to select uh, select and mask and then just uh, upping the feather a little bit you can kind of see that softens our choice there a little bit just a bit and we can also while we're at it we're going to shift the edge a little bit outwards so that it kind of so we don't see through this feather that we made we're going to hit OK and then we're going to see how it looks see this is before after before after now we're going to throw the background away because what we want is this transparent stuff. We're going to go File, Save As, and we're going to take this floor and we're going to save it as a Photoshop document. That'll save the transparency and we'll just go ahead and save it on the desktop and hit OK. And now if I switch back to Adobe uh, Premiere and I just zoom this out so you can see and then double click the bin to import that new floor PSD it's gonna ask me should I merge and that's okay now if I put that over the top of everything you'll see and if I show you this is with it and then this is with it off so you can kind of see we've nicely hidden 
not perfect, but pretty okay. We've hidden that area on the floor. Now, if somebody's leg moves in front of it, you're going to see that that's not a perfect shot, but it's pretty good. So, and we're just going to extend that throughout the entire range of the video. You can kind of see us, see how that works. And at this point, we are now ready for export. Uh, everything seems to be correct. So we're going to now file save just to make sure we don't mess anything up. And then file, export, media. And we're going to export this with a preset just like we did before. We're going to go to VR, but this time we're going to do VR monoscopic match source ambisonic. Um, that's going to give us, as you can kind of see, um, let me see if I can open this up uh, in our little tiny space here. Well, it's going to give us the correct ambisonic output uh, that we need. We're going to need AAC 512 48 kilohertz. Um, and just double check to make sure that what you want to export is in fact exporting. And just select and then make sure that the output name is something that you can find in the location shot two and hit save and that will save it once you hit the export button that will save it to the desktop at that point it's ready to upload to YouTube and it should be fully ambisonic as well as uh, 360 that's it